Denver's DA Mitch Morrissey making bold statements about recreational marijuana here in our state, sending a letter to the state of California about what he calls the negative impacts of legal weed. And only Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski sat down with the DA. And Jen, this centers around two questions. And he says that California's anti pot campaign asked him to write the letter and answer two questions. Have crime rates gone down since we legalized marijuana? And has it freed up officers to focus on other crimes? In both cases, the DA says absolutely not. Was this a political move? A political move? Um, I don't. <laughs> One, I can't run for this office again. And two, I have absolutely nothing to do with California. Denver District Attorney Mitch Morrissey says this letter sent to no one Prop 64, California's recreational pot measure, is about facts, not politics. What I was trying to do was accurately reflect the facts as we know them since we have legalized commercial marijuana. Those answers backed up by statistics are now being used by California to warn voters there about what Morrissey calls the negative side of legal weed. During this period of time, our crime rate has gone up and our cops have been more busy on marijuana related crimes than any time in the history of this city. Since legalization, the letter says crime rates in Denver have increased 44% in every single neighborhood. Marijuana ER visits are up 49%, and the amount of illegal weed seized by DPD is also up. It's gone from pounds to tons. Are these statistics disturbing? I think they should be. I don't think there's any evidence. But pro marijuana advocates have a different opinion about Morrissey's motivations. The DA is politically campaigning and trying to paint a negative picture of the marijuana laws in Colorado that doesn't actually exist. The activists for this are just. They get outraged when somebody tries to present the facts. Now, California is one of a handful of states voting whether or not to legalize recreational marijuana this November. Now, I've posted the entire letter as well as, as, well as where those stats came from on my story on the DenverChannel.com. Reporting live tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.